Oh, I suppose I should say something, right? I mean, doesn't the map just tell you everything about what this game was going to be like anyway? What was I thinking? I don't need every game to be perfect. I don't need every game to make sense all the time. I don't need every game to be fun. I don't need every game to be consistent with its rules. I don't need every game to be beautiful and components be perfect. I uh, just, I don't need all that. I don't have to play a war game every time. I don't have to have hexes all the time. I don't even have to have square units. I can do round units. I can do them. What I can't do <clears throat> is, first of all, let's just talk about the components. Because this map, this map is, uh, you know, supposed to be old England, right? So back in the 18 whatevers. And it sucks. This is the ugliest freaking map I've ever seen. These kind of double hex side things are awful. The terrain chart is awful. The turn track is kind of cool. I love the counters. The counters are awesome. The counters are really cool. Uh, you know, got the little bit of artwork. I mean, that's pretty indistinct artwork, actually. Come to think of it, I don't really like the freaking Martian uh, counters that much. But then, you know, there's our superhero. Who knew we had superheroes back in the 1800s? But we do. And we have a priest as well. There's a priest guy. And look, he's a black little blob as well, now that I look at it. Well, maybe there's some other things that are cool. There's a flying saucer that, well, or maybe it's just an ink stain. I don't know. Here's an angry mob. That looks cool. And well, then there's, um, there's champions as well. There's these things called germs. Um, there you go. Look, there's germs. Let's have a closer look at the walker. There's the walker. Um, and you got these rubble markers. And you might say, well, rubble, what do you need rubble for? Well, here's the cool thing. You know, so these guys, they can't be walkers. They can't move on normal, ter on this terrain. They have to rubble it before you can move. I robbed a bank. Uh, and, and so, so you know, you get three movement points. That means you land where you start magically in this hex, which you're allowed to exit, even though you're in terrain that you're in, prohibited in. So either you attack the hex you're in and rubble it, or you move out of the hex into another hex, and, uh, and as you're not, since you're not moving out, you're rubbling, you rubble it. And then you move into there and you put a rubble in and you can move at one. And then it costs everybody else, a little champion, and it costs him two to move in. So uh, then, so, okay, great. So that's kind of stupid. But then you have these flying things, okay? So they fly around, they just pay one, and then they have to, uh, they have to land, and wherever they land, they can't move, but they can attack. So they do things. And then, um, oh, oh, okay. Oh, there are minions. Hello, minions. Look, they're all these really cool little colorful minions. And you can buy these minions. General Panic. Uh, Colonel Jackboot. I mean, someone put a lot of effort into these names. Um, God. I cannot find anywhere in the rules where you buy them or how much you pay for them. The beginning of the game, each, t each side buys 10, uh, 10 units. And you buy you buy these units and you pay for them, right? Um, that's not actually a unit; that's a dummy, so that you don't know that I've got more or less than ten because you have ten. Come on, you have ten points of stuff to buy, so I can buy ten of these, or I could buy five of these. Not that they have five of these, but so that's the price to purchase right there. So, if you're the good guys, which you know arguably would be the Earthlings. You can get an angry mob for one or a priest for one. The heroine, she comes on the board. She doesn't cost anything. She's a zero and you get to buy her no matter what. You have to buy her, in fact. Or And then you can get a superhero. And you want to get a superhero because you, know, you need a superhero, right? But really the way it works out is you can only buy one good thing and one crappy thing like this. Uh, although a seven ain't too bad, right? Now, this guy has an attack factor of one, but this is a better combat unit than this because this guy he fights at the impossible odds column here look one in a million and in four out of the six results he kills the guy he's fighting and when the uh, aliens attack you at crushing odds they force you to retreat five out of six times I think I get it. I think I get it now. You know what? I, I, made, I made a mistake. That's just silly of me. I. Well, what was I thinking? I, I know. 
I, I made a mistake. I, I made a mistake. I did. This is not my fault. Uh, this is not the game's fault, I should say. This is really, it's really just, it's just the way I'm playing it. I'm playing it wrong, I guess. I'm just playing it wrong. This is how it works. This, 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 this is how it works. That's how the game works. That's how Earth wins. <laughs>